What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, on my other channel earlier today, Too Raw for Sports, um, I talked about, you know, the statement that Giannis made in regards to uh, potentially one day maybe playing for a team like the Chicago Bulls. Um, that's kind of trending right now. Look, man, I know the Bulls won six championships, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's been a lot of misery. We got Elton Brand, had a little promise with him that he got traded on draft night. Tim Floyd was supposed to be, you know, the, 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 the next big thing. He didn't last, but probably two goddamn seasons. Failed epically. The Baby Bulls era. You know, we had Tyson Chandler who wanted winning a championship with Dallas Mavericks, but he won't play in that well. Then we had fat ass Eddie Curry. We had fucking goddamn Ron Mercer who never worked on his fucking game. You know, then we had the 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 mentally challenged Ben Gordon. We'll also say something else. This was ten years ago. But, you know, on YouTube you can't use certain terminology anymore, dear Edith. Then we had the promise. The promise of a new day. With Derrick Rose. <laughs> just fell apart. Fuck you, Tom Thibodeau. You ran that nigga in the ground. There's been nothing but misery and bullshit. Then we had Dwayne Wade when he was old and Rondo when he was getting older. And that didn't fucking work. And then this last year had been nothing but a goddamn cock tease. Third in the Eastern Conference, rising, DeMar DeRozan hitting jumpers, hitting, uh, you know, game winners after game winners, and then injuries and motherfuckers ain't playing well. You know, Zach Levine, motherfuckers just ain't fucking playing no lick of defense. And, you know, so when Giannis says this, yes, as a Bulls fan, I mean, it's been 24 fucking years. Since MJ buried that shot over Byron Russell. 24, it's like it was just yesterday. I just got out of high school. Just got out of high school. Full head of goddamn hair. <coughs> head of goddamn. At the time, I, I was growing my hair out to be like goddamn Red Man and shit. I got fucking Al Bundy hair on top of my head and shit. This ass bullshit. How long it's been since goddamn the Bulls have won a fucking championship. That's the last time to a finals. But let's be realistic here. Obviously, Giannis was responding to a question from a reporter asking him would he entertain the possibility of going to Chicago. So this was already a setup. All right? It ain't like he just went there, you know. Uh, first thing I want to say is, I want to play for Chicago. You know, he probably was answering a question. Um, and also, you know, you, you, you're coming off of a disappointing year. A lot of that had to do with injuries. But a lot of these players, they say these things to keep the management, you know, on their toes as far as constantly, you know, adapting the roster so that you'll have a championship or at least a chance in a championship. A player knows when the management is actually trying to create a roster for winning and just creating a roster just to put asses in the seat and be entertaining and worrying more about the financial part of it. Um, you know, even though I think in today's world, I think it's more pressure, pressure on management to win. <clears throat> because fans aren't going to watch teams just for entertainment purposes. They want their they want their teams to win. Um, but look, could he ever go to Chicago? It's a possibility. Jalen Rose said something very interesting, and it's, it's something I forgot to think about. Yeah, if he doesn't have to move, he doesn't have to move. He, if he lives in Milwaukee. Uh, he could still live in Milwaukee and play for the Chicago Bulls. 
It's not that far. So, like he said, about an hour's drive. Um, so he got he doesn't have to move. He can still he can still be in the general vicinity where he lives there right now. He'll go and to satisfy the the media because they want him out of little old Milwaukee. He'll go to a large market and he'll help to reinvigorate the Chicago Bulls and make them part of the market, make them one of the marquee franchises once again, something that really hasn't been seen since the short prime of Derrick Rose and for an extended period of time since the days of Michael Jordan. So, yes, and I'm not going to lie, I'm a Bulls fan. So, yeah, I want him to go there. And he can go wherever the fuck he want to go. This is, you know, the, the players have the right to go wherever the fuck they want to go. You know, this is something that people always tell me, right? <clears throat> and they got points. I'm not going to say they don't have a point. They tell me, look, KD can go wherever the fuck he want to go. LeBron go where he want to go, too raw. Who care whether you like it or not? You got a point. You right. You right. You right. You right. We got our opinions about it. But they got a right to go where they want to go. So I tell you what. If Giannis go to Chicago, I don't want to hear no whining from any of you fucking KD fans or you LeBron fans. Oh, man, he just going to the, he going there because the team already got Zach Levine and the team already got DeMar DeRozan. I don't give a fuck what's on that team. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn no more. All you motherfuckers going around, taking up for all these motherfuckers, uh, hopping to, to, to super teams. And making excuses, don't turn around all of a sudden have a problem with Giannis doing it, especially considering the fact that Giannis won one the hard way. He did it the hard way, and the shit still wasn't appreciated by most of you fucking maggots. So at the end of the day, I don't give a damn. Giannis, come join the super team in Chicago when you get good and ready. And he'll still be only 30 years old. Still a few years left in the in the, in the, in the uh, old prime uh, window, so... Come on to Chicago and come bring the city a championship or two. <laughs>